artist and writer Abby C. graciously welcomes us to her creative workspace. Let's learn about her awesome way of keeping wonderful memories alive by way of journaling. Hi, Abby. Thank you for having us here. Mismo in your creative workspace. Um, I know means that creative workspace is sacred to an artist, but yeah. thank you for having us here. Sure. Thank okay. You so of course, see Abby, I got to work with her first when she was the letterer in my book, Paano ba to? And after that, she in fact has two books now of her own. One on lettering and the newest one on journaling. Congratulations! Thank you. And then Thank you've you done, so I know, much. a lot of other projects. And you've collaborated with a lot of local retailers and brands. Tell us about um, some of your favorites. My, one of my favorites would be with Habayana. So I got to design a locally inspired pair, pair for them. And I've also worked with a lot of clients and that catered to specific needs like lettering. Abby C belongs to a growing number of inspiring young artists and creators who bravely quit their day jobs to put up their own business. What was that point when you told yourself, okay, I'm going to quit my day job and do my passion full time? I gave a TEDx talk a year ago and then I realized maybe I should, you know, follow my own advice when I gave the talk because it was about making things happen, following your own path. And I decided, okay, I'll give myself a year to try to venture into this art thing and see if it will work. What is your advice to others na nasa dilemma na meron ka noon? I guess it's more of, well, believing in yourself. It's not going to be easy. Like, it took me a year to fully adjust to this lifestyle and to really enjoy what I'm doing now. So I guess you really have to question yourself if you, if you really want it. Congratulations Thank because you. obviously you made the right decision. Is this a coin term, journaling? Because when I saw your book, I said, word pala yon? Yeah, Oo. actually, I really searched if it was a word. Yes. So word nga siya. It's okay, na. because during my time, it was called scrapbooking. Yeah, actually, <laughs> that's another aspect. Nan. Parang ito, lesser of the gathering of collages. You can actually do journaling without all the yung dikit dikit ang galing because in this yeah. digital age a lot of people unload on private blogs or yeah. facebook pages but you would like to bring back the i guess analog iba pa rin yung uh, nadadala ng analog for me and ayoko kasi makita ng tao yung feelings ko so i don't want to tweet them so should put, it, put them on ang galing so you actually have a separate note yeah. you call it to unload yes, your it's feelings an unloading of my brain cell Aside from being a hobby or an outlet for one's creativity, journaling is also a great way to learn more about yourself. What I like about journaling, it's a personal activity. Parang no one can judge you for what you journal about. Parang I wish that I had done that day one of when my daughter was born. Parang yeah. feeling ko when you look back, ah, dun pala siya naglakad yeah. or dun pala siya nag-smile una. Wow, I have not seen a journal or a scrapbook in so long. But are you surprised with the number of other young people who are into it as well? I've seen a lot of people, you know, they tag me for their posts. And it's really interesting because pinaka pinaka gusto ko yung mga teenagers na nag journal kasi yun talaga yung time that I started to journal. Abby maintains that there are no strict rules or prerequisites for journaling. You don't have to be a gifted writer or artist to start one. A lot of people do it in a different manner. If you're a writer, I'm sure mas marami kang isusulat versus all the stickers and tapes. But if you're interested in crafty stuff, puro stickers yan or puro snippets. Or like me, I collect a lot of tickets or from events, I stick a lot of my IDs, I keep everything. For example, I'm watching this and I'm interested to learn more about different styles. Where would I look to find who is holding a workshop? Actually, on Instagram, you just look for the hashtag like journaling, journaling PH. So now, you are basically sharing the love and the knowledge for lettering and journaling. But what yes. has journaling personally done for you? How has it helped you? It keeps my life organized in a way that, okay, I can always look back on my memories here. I can always look back on my ideas on this notebook. And I think it's just a more intrinsic activity. Yun nga, kasi I, I really feel that I constantly grow when I write. It's like being an author of your own book. What is your tip to a lot of people who, because I am one of those people, for example, I'll get a planner 
for January. Excited ka the new year. By February, pakonti ng pakonti oh, entry pa mo. Oh, what na. more something like journaling which takes a bit more work? What will keep you going? Even at the end of a tired day, makakapagsulat ka pa rin sa journal mo. I think that's the beauty of journaling. It's finding beauty in the everyday. Actually, you have to be more excited about your life and be grateful and one of the ways kasi to journal is actually make a list of things you're grateful for that's the easiest one well it's very um, comforting and inspiring to know that in this day and age of social media that it's so easy to tweet yes. or post on facebook there are still a lot of people who prefer to write down their thoughts and again like you said uh, go back and be grateful for everything that happened to them in the past week or month or year. Thank you, Abby! Sure, thank you! We hope you enjoyed today's episode of Modern Living TV and you'd like to thank Philox here in Rockwell for being our gracious host. Yes, it's a beautiful new showroom of theirs, so join us again next week for more self-love tips and inspiration. From living spaces to living life beyond its confines. This is your ultimate guide to modern living. living.